How's it going guys? This is Matt from DNR Auto. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you guys about Mickey Thompson tires and rollout. Now for some of you guys this is basic information and for those of you purchasing slicks or radials for your first time this may be the first time you hear about it and uh, will help you get along you know, through these terms and understanding what they mean. <clears throat> so to start, we'll start by definition. Rollout is the number of inches the tire must travel before it returns to its original starting point or in essence the circumference, depending on if you're familiar with that terminology or not. Um, so essentially it's, it's measuring the distance all the way around the tire. So how much distance in inches the tire takes to get back to the point where it started. Um, so we're also going to talk about why this is important uh, and why it happens. So part of why it happens is these, not, these tires from Mickey Thompson are uh, made of nylon. They have nylon in their construction process. Um, if you ever notice when you go to order a set of slicks or some radials, they will say, you know, must be sold in pairs. This is why. The reason why is because what they're trying to do is match the rollout between the two tires. Now, because it's made of nylon and there's nylon in the process, uh, nylon will shrink over time. It's also why it's important to have uh, both tires that are aged relatively the same. Now, there is a date code on here. You can get in touch with Mickey Thompson. They will let you know when the tires were produced, how long they've been sitting. Um, but just a, a general overview, you know, a good look at them, you'll be able to tell. You know, if you end up with a pair and one looks old and one looks new, and you'll be able to feel it on the tire. And there's a couple other things. But essentially, nylon shrinks over time, so this is part of why it's so important. Um, one of the big things you want to do is you want to measure it before you mount it. So especially if you're going to like a bead lock or something, you want to measure the rollout before you go ahead and mount the tire. Um, it's also going to help because no two tires are going to be exactly the same. It's very hard to get them, you know, exactly the same. So you, you want to know which side is the short side and which side is the long side. Per Mickey Thompson, when you first mount these tires, the first thing you're going to want to do is run them up to 20 PSI and then immediately drop them to your operating pressure, whether it be you know, 10, 12, whatever PSI you want to run the track. This is for both of them. Don't do it just for one and the other. Um, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and as soon as you get them mounted up and you're ready to go, straight to 20, and then as soon as you're at 20, maybe count the 30 seconds or something, bring them back down to you know, your operating pressure, which may, may be 10, 12 PSI, whatever it is you're running. In terms of the rollout, the difference in the tires Per Mickey Thompson, a half an inch is allowed, up to a half an inch. Now when you buy a new set of tires like these, I would show you on camera, there's a, um, there's a permanent marker, like a silver marker, and it's actually written on the, uh, the contact surface here of the tire. Um, so I forget which one this one is. This one might be, you know, 102 and three quarter or something. Um, so what you want to do is you want to make sure that the two tires you have are within a half an inch of each other. Now, uh, if you want to look for more information, Mickey Thompson has this information on their website, and there actually is ways to correct this. Um, there's also a step-by-step -step on how to measure them. You measure them down on their side, yada, yada, yada. We can get into all that, but this is just the bare basics, and want to introduce you guys to the concept of rollout, what it is, why it's important when buying your tires, um, and it's something that we look at here. Now, we necessarily don't measure the rollout of every tire that comes through the shop, but we will do a check of the rollouts that they've provided that have been written on the tire just to make sure they match. Also the condition of the tire, making sure that one's not much older than the other because you will have that shrinking over time. So thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it, guys. And if you got any questions, give us a call or visit our website, www.dnrautollc.com. Find us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. We're everywhere. Thanks very much.